Welcome to a new episode of Crypto Investigations. Today, we take you inside the fascinating world of blockchain analysis. How do experts trace cryptocurrency transactions to solve financial crimes? Stay tuned as we dive deep into the realm of crypto forensics. Blockchain technology promises anonymity and security, but it also offers transparency. This paradox is what makes blockchain forensics both possible and crucial. In this segment, we'll explore how experts analyze blockchain transactions to uncover illicit activities. Blockchain forensics involves analyzing blockchain data to identify patterns, trace transactions and uncover illegal activities. This field has grown alongside the popularity of cryptocurrencies, providing essential tools for law enforcement and financial institutions. Several companies specialize in blockchain forensics, each offering unique tools and services. Let's take a look at some of the key players in the industry. First up is Chain Analysis. Known for its comprehensive analytics platform, Chain Analysis helps track and investigate cryptocurrency transactions. It provides tools for transaction monitoring, compliance, and investigation. For instance, you can use their free sanctions screening tool to determine whether or not an address is on a sanctions list. Now, sanctioned entities refer to entities listed on economic or trade embargo lists, such as issued by the US, EU, or UN, with which anyone subject to those jurisdictions is prohibited from dealing. Now, currently, this includes a specially designated nations list of the U.S. Department of the Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control, also known as OFAC. Another one is Elliptic, and this company uses machine learning to detect and prevent financial crime. Elliptic offers solutions for transaction monitoring, wallet screening, and forensic investigations. They leverage over 100 billion data points and service key holistic insights into crypto transactions, addresses, and wallets, as well as the relationship between them, without intensive manual graphing. For instance, their elliptic investigator powered by Holistic translates raw blockchain data into clear visualization and lets you drill down from high-level insights to the detailed underlying transaction data. Now, their user-friendly interface means that you can quickly get up to speed without specialist training and obtain the value insights you need fast. Specializing in anti-money laundering solutions, CypherTrace helps financial institutions and regulators trace cryptocurrency transactions and assess risks. Now, MasterCard acquired CypherTrace in 2021 as the payments company expanded into crypto, touting the potential to combine CypherTrace's analytics tool with MasterCard's cybersecurity solutions to provide businesses with greater transparency to identify and understand risks. Now, with MasterCard's worldwide network, they are helping to make crypto accessible and secure for billions of consumers, businesses, and governments. For instance, the MasterCard's crypto card program leverages their secure, scalable, and trusted payments network to enable the simple and real-time use of digital currency for everyday transactions across 100 million plus acceptance locations. They offer different crypto cards, and the card issuance varies based on local regulations. Now, in many markets, crypto partners work with financial institutions to issue cards. MasterCard can help crypto partners to launch their own branded solutions. Now, tracing cryptocurrency transactions involves several sophisticated techniques. Let's explore how analysts trace transactions and identify wallet owners. The first and foremost important way to trace cryptocurrency transactions is using tools like Blockchain Explorers, tools like Etherscan and Blockchain.info, which allow users to track individual transactions. Now, analysts can follow the flow of funds from one wallet to another by clicking through transactions. I'll release a dedicated tutorial on how to use Etherscan on my channel, so be sure to check that out. Another technique is called clustering analysis. And by grouping transactions with similar characteristics, analysts can identify patterns and potential links between wallets. And then we have behavioral analysis, where analysts examine transaction patterns and wallet behavior to infer the identity or purpose behind the transactions. Now, on-chain data can be combined with off-chain information, such as exchange records or social media activity, which can help link wallets to real-world identities. Now, some YouTubers, for instance, have wallets in their description for donations. Now, personally, I would never do that because people can then trace everything you do, leading you vulnerable to attacks. Now, in one notable case, investigators used clustering and behavioral analysis to track down the operators of a darknet marketplace, leading to several arrests and the seizure of millions in cryptocurrency. Let's check it out in the next chapter of this video. But before we do, I want to remind you all that I'm not a registered financial advisor. My videos are meant to be educational and entertaining only. Even though me and my team try to research projects to the best of our abilities, it is important to always do your own research and to only invest money you're willing to lose. Because 
even though you can gain a lot in crypto, you will most likely lose it all. Right, now let's move on to some real life examples. Blockchain forensics has played a crucial role in solving many high profile cases. Now let's look at some real life examples with the first one being the takedown of Silk Road, the infamous darknet marketplace which was taken down with the help of blockchain forensics. The Silk Road was an infamous online black market that operated on the dark web, primarily known for selling illegal drugs. It was launched in February 2011 by Ross Ulbricht under the pseudonym Dread Pirate Roberts. And it operated as a Tor hidden service which allowed users to browse anonymously without revealing their IP addresses. The transactions were conducted using Bitcoin to maintain anonymity. The marketplace offered a wide variety of illegal goods, including drugs, fake IDs and hacking tools. And it was essentially the eBay for drugs with a user friendly interface that facilitated anonymous transactions. Now, in October 2013, Ross Ulbricht was arrested in San Francisco Public Library and the FBI seized the Silk Road the website. Ulbricht was found guilty of seven charges, including conspiracy to commit money laundering, computer hacking and drug trafficking. He was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. So by tracing Bitcoin transactions to identify the site's operators, assets were seized. And the seizure and shutdown of the Silk Road marked a significant victory for law enforcement against dark web marketplaces. In 2021, the Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack made the headlines. And the Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack was a significant cyber attack that targeted Colonial Pipeline, the largest fuel pipeline operator in the United States. Now, Colonial Pipeline proactively shut down its operations to contain the spread of the malware. And this pipeline supplies nearly half of the fuel consumed on the east coast of the United States. Now, the shutdown led to widespread fuel shortages, panic buying and increased fuel prices across several states. Now, long lines formed at gas stations in some locations experienced significant outages. Eventually, Colonial Pipeline admitted to paying a ransom of approximately 4.4 million in Bitcoin to the attackers to restore its operations. And this decision was made to minimize disruption and get the pipeline running as quickly as possible. In a notable operation, the US Department of Justice recovered 63.7 bitcoins, which was around 2.3 million at the time, from the ransom payment, highlighting the capabilities of law enforcement to trace and seize cryptocurrency used in criminal activities. And then we have the Plus Token scam, and this large scale Ponzi scheme defrauded investors of billions. Plus Token was launched in mid 2018, presenting itself as a high yield investment program and cryptocurrency wallet. The platform promised users high returns on their investments, typically ranging from 8 to 16% per month, by claiming to generate profits through various arbitrage and lending activities. Users were required to deposit cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum and EOS into their Plus Token wallets. Now, in return, they were promised substantial monthly returns. Plus Token also employed a multi-level marketing structure, incentivizing users to recruit new investors. And that pyramid scheme aspect helped rapidly increase the number of participants and the amount of funds flowing into the platform. By early 2019, Plus Token had amassed over 3 million users and accumulated more than 2 billion worth of cryptocurrency assets. In June 2019, users started experiencing withdrawal issues, and by the end of the month, Plus Token had effectively ceased operations. Reports emerged that the founders had disappeared with the funds. Now, Chinese authorities arrested several individuals linked to the scam in mid-2019. However, a significant portion of the stolen funds remained unaccounted for. The market impact was enormous and the liquidation of stolen funds caused notable disruptions in the cryptocurrency markets. Analysts have suggested that the dumping of Plus Tokens' holdings, particularly Bitcoin, contributed to market volatility in late 2019 and early 2020. And in regards to the recovery efforts, authorities have been able to recover some of the stolen assets. Now, in November 2020, Chinese police reported the seizure of 4.2 billion in cryptocurrencies related to the PLOS token scam. Also in November 2020, a Chinese court sentenced several key members of the PLOS token team to significant prison times and imposed hefty fines. However, the masterminds behind the scam still remain at large. So what have we learned from this scam? Well, the PLUS token scam highlights the importance of conducting thorough research and due diligence before investing in any cryptocurrency platform, especially those promising unusually high returns. This case underscores the need for more stringent regulatory measures to protect investors and prevent similar fraudulent schemes in the future. 
Now, raising awareness about the signs of Ponzi schemes and other types of investment fraud is crucial in helping potential investors avoid falling victim to such scams. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to learn more about this topic. Also, before we move on to the future trends in crypto and forensics, I want to take a quick moment to thank today's sponsor, which is Decent. They are a hardware manufacturer which offers two types of hardware wallet. Now, the first one is their biometric wallet, and then the second one is their all-in-one card wallet, which is ideal for on the go. All you need is your phone and a card to be able to manage your cryptocurrency assets. I made a dedicated video on Decent and on their products, so be sure to check them out. Also, in the description is a link which will provide you with a $30 discount. Now finally, be sure to join our free Twitter and free Telegram as well, where I share news and projects more often than I do on this channel, because these videos actually take a long time to produce. Right, let's move on with the video. As the world of cryptocurrency continues to evolve, so do the methods and tools for blockchain forensics. In the following chapter of this video, we're going to look at some of the future trends in this field. The use of AI and machine learning will enhance the accuracy and efficiency of transaction analysis, making it easier to detect suspicious activities. As privacy coins like Monero and Zcash gain popularity, forensic tools will need to adapt to analyze these transactions effectively. Now, blockchain forensics will increasingly integrate with traditional financial systems to provide comprehensive AML and compliance solutions. And the involving regulations will drive the development of new forensic tools and methods to ensure compliance and enhance security. The future of blockchain forensics is very promising, with advancements in technology and increased collaboration between private companies on the one hand and law enforcement on the other hand, we can expect more robust and efficient tools for combating crypto crimes. Blockchain forensics is a critical field that combines technology and expertise to combat financial crimes in the crypto space. And by understanding how these tools and techniques work, we can better appreciate the efforts to keep the cryptocurrency ecosystem secure. Now, if you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth content on cryptocurrency blockchain technology. And then I'll see you guys next time. Doei.